Welcome to Off Grid Contract. And I apologize if it's a little breezy today. We're here in sunny Florida and it is an immaculate day outside. What I want to share with you here is our new standard tiny house install um, with the exception of the upgrade on the battery bank and um, the inverter a little larger uh, than our normal install. But these are upgrades. I want to kind of share this because this is upgrades that you can do. And at the end of the day, you can have pretty much a normal house install in a tiny house. Um, the only accommodations is you have to have a larger shed box um, if you want to check with Randy and them at Incredible Tiny Homes. Um, or if you're building your own tiny house, you can contact us. We can help you with the specs on that. Um, also, we can get you a rack system for these new nano carbon type batteries. Or if you want to build your own racks, it's the customer, that's fine as well. Okay, so with that, we'll begin at the very bottom. We have a battery bank here, 400 amp hour at 48 volt. Okay, so it's almost like having the Tesla Powerwall in your um, uh, box outside. All right, um, now the great thing about this is, is also it has all the additional protection. Not only do we coat these batteries, but then we put the protective covers on. This one uh, will be back on here shortly um, once it's modified a little bit for all the extra connections. But this seals up the batteries and protects them. Not only that, but the, the lid, this is gonna be anchored across uh, once the house is moved again to its permanent location. But otherwise, that's good to go. All right, next up, we have our OTG board that's become famous, um, especially because a lot of companies are trying to knock it off nowadays, apparently. Um, and so um, what you have here is the input from the solar coming in. And then you also have an additional setup that we've done here for the customer because what they're going to do is later down the road when they park this house on their new permanent location, once they've stayed here for a little while, they're gonna set out five more panels in an array and they can do a quick clip into this because we pre-wired everything and then they can flip the brake around. So this is built into the roof of the, ho of the house, these two module inputs. And then the last one here is gonna be for a ground array. So it's really neat, I'm excited about that and I'm gonna screw the lid on this permanent now um, until the customer does their ground array later on. So this is done and in place and just make sure folks that you know your breakers are always in the home position or you won't be having power, okay? So that's shut. And we'll screw that tight in a minute. Just hand tighten that for now. Okay, and so then we have the Midnight Classic uh, 200 charge controller because um, we do have this uh, solar array in uh, strings of five, and we have the standard uh, solar array install that you can check right up here um, on the the uh, iCard. And you can see where we've done solar installs on shed roof before because this is also a shed roof, but we're not going to climb on the roof today. Um, the customer has 10 panels, though, instead of the normal six that would come on the standard package. Um, that was upgraded as well. And to be exactly accurate, um, there's 11 because one is a very small panel right here. The customer is putting a fan uh, into the side of the house, and so we actually installed that for them today as well, the wiring and that solar panel. Um, so right here we have the breaker box. We have the feed coming in from the Magnum, and that's supplying power to the house. All that's neatly ran in flex conduit. And then we have the battery bank feeding the Magnum uh, inverter here. This is a 48 volt, 4400 watt inverter. And guys, that pretty much concludes um, the outside of the system, or the, uh, the box outside of the house. As far as the system goes, there is a temperature sensor here for the Magnum, there's a temperature sensor back there for the charge controller. So with that said, I'm gonna finish up just a little bit of work right here and then we'll step inside and I'll show you the inner workings of the inside of the house. Okay, everyone, this is Ty Spock. Sir, I appreciate you letting us do your solar install. We appreciate you guys coming down and taking care of it for us. And uh, we're gonna step inside now and I'm gonna show you the controls on the wall and then Ty's gonna take you guys for a tour of this new tiny house. This is 30 foot long, right Ty? Yes. This was built at the second Incredible Tiny Homes workshop with our friends at Incredible Tiny Homes. So if you're interested in building your own home, you've done this in a week, right? Yep, six nights. There you go, in a week. I've been working on my tiny house off and on for a year and a half. So, <laughs> you know, you can do the long road or you can do the fast route. Okay guys, so as you come into uh, Ty's lovely home, which I'm gonna turn over the reins here just a minute and he can take you through a tour, we're gonna need some power um, for some lighting. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the solar system. 
AC is running now. And here is the battery status uh, state of charge monitor. So that'll let you know um, the battery power. And keep in mind the nano carbon batteries have a lifespan 44% more than standard AGM batteries. So you can abuse them and they'll still hang out with you. And this is the standard um, set up for uh, the Magnum. And uh, we have these together so it's a very small footprint and you can keep an eye on your power at any given time. So with that said, guys, I'm gonna turn it over to Ty and I'll catch you at the end. All right, so right now we're standing in the kitchen. Um, we are still trying to move in and get settled, so we do have some things missing, but uh, we got a full 30 inch range, uh, exhaust hood, refrigerator's missing. We'd go right here and also maybe a microwave. I don't wanna say a microwave in front of the solar guy, but maybe a microwave will be running here every <laughs> once in a while. So that's what's missing here, and then this is the living room. We've got the dual staircases with storage underneath. Got the uh, TV surround sound system. Um, we opted for some chairs instead of a couch, but we got the split AC unit up top, ductless mini split. It's a uh, 22 and a half sear unit, 110, um, and our ceiling fan. And then straight through here is the bathroom. Again, we're still moving in, so sorry for all the stuff laying around. But uh, we have new. Shower enclosure that uh, Ty was just finished on. Our nature's head composting toilet, washer dryer, all in one unit, condensing unit. Sorry. So, and then above this bathroom here is our daughter's loft. It's uh, eight feet by eight feet. Uh, right up the stairs here is our daughter's loft again. Uh, eight foot long, eight foot wide. Got the uh, 32 inch LED. That's a uh, full size bed just for size, size reference. That's a full. And as you come down the stairs and back up the second loft, that's uh, the wife and I's, that's the master loft. That's uh, eight feet wide by nine feet long. And that, for, again, for size reference, is a queen size bed. Haven't finished with the clothing storage, but the TV's on the back side of that privacy wall. Another LED 32 inch. Try to get everything as efficient as possible. So, so guys, you can see this is a very lovely tiny house. Um, 30 foot, I think anywhere between 20 to 30 foot gives you a really nice, you know, work space. Field. Absolutely. Yeah, and um, so Ty, once again, brother, I appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Going to do the solar. And guys, if you want to go off grid, you can check us out at offgridcontracting.com. And until we see you again, I look forward to working for you.